wonder what he's thinking now. He's probably trying to decide whether to have cereal or toast for <laughs> breakfast. You wouldn't think there were only one kid up there, would you? Hmm? No, sounds like a herd of elephants. The look on Michael's face when he realised that letter was a hoax. Utterly heartbreaking. Oh, Mum, will you give it a rest? And to have your hopes built up like that and then so cruelly snatched away. You can be very harsh when you put your mind to it. Look, I've said I'm sorry. Can we just let it go now, please? Can I have your fried bread? Your heart attack food, didn't you? Mm, too right. Life in the fast lane. That's me. Morning. Morning. Can I have a bacon butty, please? Heavy on the brown sauce. Yep. Coffee to go, sir. Oh, bless. That is so cute. What? Will you and Kirk here make a lovely couple? We've probably got more chance of happiness than you two. I've got a lady wife. Well, near as damn it. No, yeah, I've seen her. Commiserations. You better watch your mouth. I could take you out with one punch. Kirk, I was only messing. Yeah, right. There you go. Thank you. Put the change in the charity box. Yeah. What a word for you. Me? Maria's coming back today. Oh, little Miss Fruit Loop. How's she doing? Todd. She can do without comments like that. Well, just Kirk, just chill out, yeah? I don't know what you see in it. It's a very nasty piece of work. I don't want you upsetting her, so I'm asking you to stay away. Right, okay. If you think that's best. I do, yeah. Thanks. God, all those terrible things she's done have really alienated her. It's going to be hard for her face and everyone. And you care because... Well, you can't blame me for feeling sorry for her. She's had a breakdown. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I'm sick of the sight of this place. Tell you what, let's go back to bed for a little bit and then go into town. I thought you were working. Hiya, Steve. It's me. <coughs> sorry, mate. I'm feeling rough as a badger's backside. I don't think I can make it in today. Oh, having to work on a day like today is wrong. Yeah. It'd be great to run off to Formby, take open Ruby to see the squiggles. <laughs> squiggles? <laughs> right, let's get on. Do what Carl on the case. See you later. See ya. You paid the milkman? With what? Oh, I don't know. The money that Carl gave me. Pocket money? Well, thank God the thatch is open again. Otherwise, we'd be completely brassic. <sighs> Morning. Morning. Hiya. You all right? Yeah. Can't chat now, but, um, why don't we meet at the bistro tonight? Uh, actually, I was just going to ask Izzy if she fancied the night in. Might even throw together one of my famous curries. Sounds great. I'd best get going. I don't want to be late for work. See you later. Missing you already? Don't try too hard, eh? I'm going to do some circuits before I start work. Mm -hmm. See ya. See ya. Hey, that's sounding promising. You two back on track? Not really, no. We seemed to be getting on fine yesterday, and then we just ended up having this massive row about nothing. Yeah. You're going through a bad patch, that's all. You'll be fine. That is amazing. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, have you got a straw to go with it? Hmm? Women nails. I don't want to smudge okay. you. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Beck has invited us to the launch of a new hotel. It's got a roof terrace and everything. Where are you going? Barbados. Oh, I am well jealous. And when's this? Next week. Well, Maxie will still be in school. We can't take him out or else they'll find us. Are you channeling Norris? Yeah, we'll be wearing a tank top next. Oh! <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. A free holiday abroad, posh hotel. Who cares about a piddly little vine? Look, he breaks up for summer in a couple of weeks. Can't it wait till then? The launch is next week. I'm not missing it. Yes, well, please don't worry about me. Yeah, I exactly. We can't leave Gran on her own. Or me mum, for that matter. What are you talking about? The grown women? You, I'm not taking any chances, not with that criminal sniffing round. Oh, round. any excuse. Listen, don't blame me. He's only back again because of you. Well, me and Maxie are going with or without you. You've been practising your disco dancing routine, have you? Should have bought you a glitter ball for your 40th. Thought you were meant to be revising anyway. Huh? What, with the radio on? I can't stand the quiet. Right. Come on. What has happened to the new improved Steve McDonald then, hmm? The dynamic go-getter. You were gonna search for the hero inside yourself, apparently. Well, I searched, I couldn't find him. I think he ran away crying. All that stuff you said about living life to the full. Well, as soon as I finish my exams and, um, I will, you know, as soon as I get more, more time. Oh, fair enough. Okay, you'll be able to 
Think more clearly with that lot out of the way, won't you? Exactly. One thing at a time, mate. I'm not taking no for an answer. Ow! Sorry. <sighs> You're right. Yeah, apart from three crack ribs and a broken foot. Ow! Sorry. Typical day, right? He makes a den out of cardboard boxes. There's a bit of colouring in. Pretends he's Spider-Man on the climbing frame. Kylie! Well, it's not like he's in the middle of his GCSE as a row, is it? Look, I've told you, it's not just about Max. Michael Rodwell legged it out of our house in shame. There's no way he'd dare show his face round here again. Do you have any idea how much the list has cost? Mm, they're not cheap, are they? No, anything from 100 quid an hour. What? It's ridiculous. We just can't afford a legal battle. You know, I never dreamed he'd be so spiteful. Well, he obviously enjoys winding you up, don't he? Don't react to it. Just roll over and let him get on with it. Uh, have you met me? Whatever he accuses you of, just say, yes, it was me. Wet tights on the bathroom floor, me. Knickers on the bathroom floor, me. Using your razor to shave me legs, all me. <laughs> He'd blow a gasket in his head. I think that ship sailed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you're right. You can say what he likes. I just need to take a deep breath and let it wash over me. Good. Anyway, missus, big day tomorrow, isn't it? Mm, hardly. What are you now? 36? I'm 33, thank you very much. Oh, well, near enough, babe. <laughs> So, where's Count taking you, then? I don't know. Well, it better be somewhere fabulous. Remember, I say it can Glad I've seen you. Make sure you're on time for your shift today. Of course. I shall be there on time. I'm serious. So am I. Oh, you can't just stroll in when the mood takes you. No, I shall stroll in at four on the dot. Don't get both yourself. You're an employee, just like everyone oh, 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 else. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm entitled to half that business. Okay, you won't get a penny on the beach trip. I'd draw the torch the place. Oh, you're pathetic. Don't talk to me like that. I'm your boss. Oh, you, me boss. I carried you for months. Talk to me like that again. I'll sack you. And I'll sue you for unfair dismissal, like I said. Yeah. On all. Sorry to bother you again, but I can't leave things the way they are. I, I don't mind tucking on the step. Oh, we could go to that little cafe round the corner, shout your necklace cake. Oh, well, I've got Lily asleep upstairs. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, have I called it a bad time? No. Or is any time a bad time when it comes to me? Don't say that. It's only you look a bit flustered. Oh, yeah, well, I've... Um... Uh, I've just started my exercise DVD. Oh. Bounce your way to happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit daft when you say it out loud. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Uh, no, no. Uh, any excuse to stop and have a nice cup of tea? Oh. Right. Quick hide. Why are you thinking something at death's door? The half sail close to the wind. Ooh, I'm mad, me. Come on, darling. Lovely. I'm just going to go and have a quick word. Go, What's the point? She'll only go dragging up the past. And I'm partly responsible for what happened. I'm not going to ignore her. Marcus, she's history. Marcus! Hey, mate. Can we get a stress rat? <laughs> not now, eh, Liam? Some other time, though, yeah? Really? That would be brilliant. Yeah, well, I'll be in touch. Yeah. See ya, Adam. See ya. You cheeky monkey. <laughs> Kirk told you to stay away, and I think you should listen to him. I just wanted to check she was all right. She seems a lot calmer. She's obviously trying to turn things around. I can't believe she said I could see Liam. Just don't get your hopes up. She's very unpredictable. I just don't want to see you getting hurt. That's all. You're very kind, Gail. Uh, it's just a biscuit, even if it is from my secret stash. No, I meant I robbed this house, yet here we are. Well, I'm not one to bear a grudge. You forgiving me like this, it means the world. Have you got an itch? I've got some antihistamine in the bathroom cabinet. Not, not as such, no. It, it's me anklet giving me jip. Oh. Done half crampy style. No more disco dancing till dawn. <laughs> Do you know, 
I came out of prison with nothing. No home, no possessions, not an ounce of self-respect. Your faith in me, well, it gave me a kick up the backside, in a good way. I'm glad. Now, I've got myself a bedsit. Nice little job at Weatherfield Garden Centre. I mean, how lucky am I? I was a fool to think a woman like you could send a love letter to someone like me. Well, I'm nothing special. I know Kelly was only having a joke. Kylie. Okay, oh, Kylie, sorry. But I was mortified when I found out, and I could see you were too. But this doesn't mean it has to be the end of us, does it? Only I, I know it might seem presumptuous, but it would be great if we could be friends. You again? Get out before I chuck you out. Come on, you heard it out now. Michael is a guest in this house. Don't speak to him like that. Yeah, a guest? Are you mad? He robbed us blind? Have you never made a mistake? I think we all know the answer to that. You can't trust him, Gail. Turn your back, he'll be helping himself to your handbag. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you might be all right with having a criminal in the house, but I've got the kids to think of. Oh, don't be so sanctimonious. I'd never harm a child. What do you think I am? Well, you know Gail's a soft touch. That's why you're moving in on her. That's enough. I should go. Don't let them bully you. I've got to go anyway. I'm at the garden centre this afternoon. My shift starts at half two. Well, remember, you're welcome here any time. Right, shift. Hello. What is wrong with you? Yeah, this is Mrs Platt. Don't treat me like I'm a dimwit. I am perfectly capable of choosing who I spend my time with. Mum, he's playing you. Michael is a decent man. <laughs> right, yeah, we'll be there straight away. What? School. Max is kicking off again. Hi. Um. Ah! <laughs> oh, Maria! Oh, a little Liam. Say hello. Hello, Andy. Hello, sweet. <laughs> oh, now, why didn't you tell me you were coming home? Oh, we got a last minute flight. <laughs> My goodness. How are you? Good. Yeah, great. Yeah, I've uh, bought you a few bits and bobs. Oh, daft thing. You didn't have to do with that. Oh, it's not much. Oh, my It's a bit of handmade left car release. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> that will look lovely under my whatnot on the side. Oh. And then this yeah. is what all the locals drink. Honestly, I got through bucket loads of the stuff. Con cafe. Yeah, it's a bit of an acquired taste, but don't let that put you off. Oh, all right. I shall persevere. <laughs> from this fab little shop round the corner from my mum. Right. Theos, the owner, he's always falling asleep, isn't he? You have to wake him up if you want to buy something. Oh. <laughs> but you do know, Maria, look, you don't have to pretend to me. That, I don't want to upset you, because I know you've got a tough time ahead seeing everybody. Got a lot of fences to mend. I almost bottled it when I was getting on the plane. But can't put it off forever, can I? No. And a bit of time's gone by now, so hopefully Fizz and Tyrone will feel a bit more forgiving. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, just wanted to see your face. What's up? Oh, just the usual. I'm boring myself now. Oh, Nick. Yeah, I can't keep running to you every time he's horrible. Yeah, he's pathetic. He needs to get a grip. We could have months of this, you know. Years even. He's really trying to make me suffer. But I'm not going to let him get the better of me. Not a chance. Oh, I love it when you're feisty. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> what? Hiya. Have you come in to do a class? Yeah, I fancy the Ashtanga yoga. No, no, that's far too full on for me. I'd probably drop dead. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You look pretty fit to me. Wouldn't you agree? Dad. Hmm? Leanne. Dead fit. Uh, James, sure, yeah. Anyway, uh, gotta go. Busy, busy. <laughs> See you later. What's up with her? How do you mean? Well, she legged it out of here as if her pants were on fire. It's like she said she's busy. I reckon there's something a bit sus about her. Sus? Uh, body language. It's all over the place. What? So now you're an expert? Well, it's obvious. She's dead shifty. Like she's hiding something. You be too much into things. This takes me back. Mm, me too. Sat outside her teacher's office waiting for a ride rollicking. I were never away. 
What chance has Max got with me as a mum? Bad genes, innit? Shut up, he's a great lad. So what did you get done for, then? Oh, um, throw in spit bombs at girls. Classy. Mm -hmm. Uh, setting fire to science lab. Well, putting kids in charge of a lot of Bunsen burners, what do they expect? Yeah, I know, they were begging for it. Uh, best one, though, I, um, I wrapped cling film around toilets in our teacher's box. <sighs> Classic. My longest attention ever is when I stabbed Colin May in the leg with a pencil. Why, what did he do to you? No, I fancied him. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever, did you ever chuck pencils up at ceilings? No, I can't say we did. What would the point of that be? Oh, at our ceilings we had those um, foam tile, uh, mm. polystyrene tiles, mm. you know, so when you chucked a pencil up, I sometimes used to stick in there. <laughs> My personal best was 19. Oh, well, it's good to know you achieved summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was always in trouble for giving back chat. Couldn't keep me gob shut. Yeah, well, you're still a gobby girl now. Hey, you should talk. You should talk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr and Mrs Platt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come through, please? The more you avoid people, the worse it's going to be. I'm not avoiding anyone. I'm not. In fact, I was thinking of going to the Rovers tonight, if we can get hold of a babysitter. Oh, well, I'll mind him for you. That wasn't a hint, Audrey. But thank you. <laughs> Did you know that? While we were away, you missed Marcus like mad. Well, they were very close, darling. His little face lit up when he saw him before. I've decided that I'm going to let Marcus start seeing him again. Well, good. But you will take it steady, won't you? Listen, I'm still really angry with him for what he did, but I've got to put Liam first, haven't I? Go on. Hiya! Oh, Kirk! Got your text. Oh, come on. Aww. Hello, Shorty. Hello, Kirk. How are the oldsters? Fine, yeah, good. Send the love. You feeling better now, sis? I'm getting there, yeah. Uh, Kirk, uh, Maria was just saying she's thinking of going into the Rovers tonight, so uh, why don't you go with her? You know, moral support. Nice one. We can catch up properly then. Oh, good. His behaviour has deteriorated over the past few months to the point where we're really quite concerned. So, um, w what exactly is the problem? He can't seem to sit still, struggles to listen, can't or won't follow instructions, constantly interrupts in class. He's enthusiastic. If the children want to talk, they're encouraged to put their hands up. Otherwise, there'd be chaos. Max gets into lots of fights. Too much energy, that's all. They're exactly the same at his age. Can I ask, how are things at home? Fine. Well, no. We did have some um, marital problems last year. But that's all sorted now. We're just a blip. Well, it's a bit more than a blip. It went on for months. Point is, it's all good now. What's Max like at home? He's an angel. Never any trouble. Brian Packham didn't have a bad word to say about him. The reports tell a different story. Apparently, you took him out of school for a while in 2012 after you clashed with Mr Packham. We had a slight disagreement. It happens. We'll keep an eye on the situation, and if things should deteriorate... There is no situation. You should be glad he's so full alive. Look, I'm not having him blame because your teachers are up to the job. So, are you looking forward to going to Harry's? Well, I thought it was your busy. Listen, inside, there's something I've got to tell you. You know that me and Nick have fallen out. Well, we're going to make it official. We're going to get divorced. So, can I still see Nick or what? Yeah, of course you can. He still loves you. He still wants you in his life. Why doesn't he want you? You know why. Because we don't love each other anymore. So, has Nick got a new girlfriend or what? Um, no, I, d I don't think so. Well, not that I'm aware of. I bet he will do soon. Then he'll not want to be bothered with me anymore. Hey, no, that's not going to happen. Because what you and him have got is unconditional love. Do you know what that is? It's a love that lasts forever, no matter what. Listen, Si, there's something else I need to tell you and all. 
You know, me and Cal. Oh, we've been seeing each other. Stuck up cow. Took against me as soon as she clapped eyes on me. Oh, you're just paranoid, that's all. I want a cake. Please. Please. I want the biggest one. Oh, good choice. Look, maybe we shouldn't get him it. I mean, it's like rewarding bad behaviour. It's a cake, David, not a flimmy spaceship. Um, do you want it or not? Yes, we do, Ty. Are you all right, babe? A bit tired. Yeah, me too. What we could do with is a holiday. Yeah. How would you like to go see Auntie Becky? Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, don't get too excited, Max, because we don't know whether it's happening yet. I want to see Becky. You're totally shameless, do you know? Becky, 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 Becky. Right, I'll tell you what, Paul. Why don't you take this over there, yeah, and stick it in your cake hole? Go on. <laughs> See, this is exactly what you like. You wind him up, you get him overexcited. No, wind your neck in. Well, you just used him and get what you want, you know that. First of all, I've got that flaming teacher looking down at nose, making me I'm a rubbish mum, and now you're at it. Idiot. Ugh. Help yourself. Oh, no, thanks, Kirk. Oh, very exotic. What are they? Luke O'Mar, they from Cyprus. Yeah, but what are they? Honey balls. Oh, they sound right on my street. Was them over here, Kirky? There's a good lad. Mm. Did uh, Marie send these over? No, such no. She brought them herself. She was back then? Yeah. Fresh start. Mmm, now that is a sugar hit. I'm getting lard, sugar, probably a bit more lard, and then honey. Ooh, these are the devil's work. What is another one? Oh. Oh, they are very Moorish. Thanks, Kirk. She's hoping to make it up with you and Tyrone. But you were dead gun mates before all that texting stuff. Mates don't do what she did, Kirk. Don't work too hard, will you guys? Oh, says Daddy Daycare. Pushing around a pram all day is hardly demanding, isn't it? Bye, Sean. Hey. Listen, I'm going to get some food in for later. What do you fancy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be late at home. How come? What's this? What about her? Well, Maria's back and she's feeling... She needs someone to talk to. Not avoiding me, are you? Of course not. We'll, we'll talk later, yeah? Thanks for lunch. You get used to being a cat man. You left me bankrupted by Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, where to next? <laughs> I see you've made a miraculous recovery. Yeah, I know. Because one minute I was flat on my back, and the next... Stop lying, you're skiving. I'm sorry, Steve, but, uh, the truth is... Marcus had some devastating news today. The family dog, Barbara, as in Streisand, she keeled over and died. Right. I'm filling up here. He, he's had this dog since he was this high. That's enough. Don't bother coming in tomorrow or ever. Oh, do you know what? I was dying of boredom anyway. You cheeky. Though. I don't want to sit at that desk till I'm old and past it like you. Where did that come from? Well, who cares? It's the truth. You're going to have to apologise. It'll be fine. Todd, you can't afford to lose your job. Don't worry. You won't stay mad for long. Carla's having a facial, if you please, while the cat's away. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. You've done a lovely job. Oh, it's no great shakes, is it, having a pair of pants? Well, I'm terrible at sewing. The hem on my other trousers held up with sellotape. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to report you to the style police. No fun being short, you know. David says I'm just the right height for him to rest his pint on me head. Oh, cheeky beggar. He's not exactly lanky himself, is he? You don't know the half of it. Had a right go at me this morning. How come? I'd invited Michael in for a cup of tea. What, thieving, Michael? Restorative justice, Michael. Gail, is that a good idea? Right, Max, and when you come in, can you wash all that cream off your face? You look a right joke. How did you get on at school? What a fuss about, no. Oh, he's not crept back in then, has he? Let me guess, is he hiding under that rug? See what I'm up against? Well, they're only worried about you. He is a convicted criminal. See? I mean, I'm not being funny, Gail, but, well, you've not got the best track record when it comes to choosing men, have you? Yes! Thank you, Sally. Talk some sense into her. My experiences with men mean I can spot a wrong and a mile off. I've had a lifetime of it. If they gave out certificates, I'd have a PhD. Gail McIntyre, Dr Love. <laughs> On that bombshell, I'm going to make a cuppa. I like Michael. Get over it. 
I'd better get back. I don't want to push my luck. Well, thanks for these, Sally. And if there's anything I can do for you... Like what? Well, I, I could make you some of my mushroom volivants, you know, my speciality. I'll let you know. Bye. I reckon she's really got the odds for him. See? And you wonder why I didn't want to leave her on her own? I'm not kissing my oldie goodbye. It was some flipping tea leaf. We've got no choice, Carla. You want to bet? Look, we can't risk it. Who knows what the bloke's capable of? Right, if I sort him out, promise me we're off to Barbados. What did I say? What? Don't be late. Oh, Nick, it's five minutes. Ducky your wages. And what's that going to amount to? 20 pence? You pathetic. I'll tell you the reason I'm late. It's because I was just telling Simon about the divorce. How did he take it? Well, as you'd expect, he was very sad. You know, it breaks my heart seeing him like that. He knows I'll still be seeing him, yeah? Yeah, of course he does. Because I told him that you still love him and that things won't change between you and him. Thanks. But you know what, Nick? Every time you kick me, you're kicking Simon. I had to be all upbeat about you, singing your praises. Well, I don't know how much longer I can do that when you pursue me through the courts. So can we please just try and keep things civil for Simon's sake? You okay? Yeah, I think me and Nick might have just had a bit of a breakthrough there. <laughs> oh, hallelujah to that. No. no, put it back. Kylie, listen. Listen, don't have a massive strap on, OK? Just just try and stay cool, all right? There he is. Snick! I can't talk to you now. I'm working. You're taking advantage of Gail. We're not having it. It's really not like that, I promise you. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? You underestimate your mother. She's a wonderful woman and she knows her own mind. All right, so, what, you've spoken to her half a dozen times and now apparently you know her better than us two? She feels sorry for you, that's all. Pity. I'm telling you, you go to our house again, I'll call the police. What? Yeah, that's right. I'll tell them you're terrorising us. With a bit of luck, you'll be back inside before you can say restorative justice. So you promise you'll stay away. No dropping in for a chat, no phone calls, no texts, no nothing. That's enough. You've said your Where's piece. Max? Hey? Where's Max? He was right here. Oh, no. Max! Max? Max? Max, where are you? Max! Honestly, you're knocking me sick. Hey, Going all gooey over your tax. No prizes for guessing who they're off. Oh, is it that obvious? Yeah. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm just being jealous. It's about time I got myself a boy. Hey, you're gorge. They must be cute around the block. You two got a minute? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, as you know, uh... I mean, things are going pretty well at the moment. You know, business is booming, profits are up. Uh, but I need a second in command. Now, I know you both step up if necessary, but I need to put it on a formal basis so we know where we stand. So, as of now, Steph, you're our new supervisor. Me? Congratulations. You're just doing this out of spite. Not very sisterly, is it? I genuinely thought we'd turned a corner. Yeah, in future, don't you, Simon's emotional blackmail? Won't work. I wasn't. Don't take any nonsense from Mouth Almighty. She starts, you tell me. Honestly, I could shake him. He's got a face like a wet weekend. Nothing new there, then. He's hardly been the life and soul. I know that. I just thought he might have perked up a bit, you know, seeing all these mates singing happy birthday to him. I swear he had a tear in his eye. Probably crying over his lost youth. <laughs> but either that or it's the smoke after candles or something. Oh, yeah. Good timing. We were just about to get our thinking caps on. Blue sky thinking. Mm, brainstorming. Beam me up. Listen, you. If me and you are going to retire young and live the good life, then we need to make a plan, don't we, of how to make some serious moolah? Well, you know, if you sell a kidney, you get three grand. I mean, you've got a spare, haven't you? It's no biggie. Three grand's not going to get them far. Yeah, but if you both sell one, then that's six grand. And you can sell a part of your liver because it grows back. Honestly, human body is amazing. All right. Nah, mate, you've got no chance. Who is he? A guy from Harper Hay wants to get to the airport by half past. Tell Brenda I'll do it. Mate, it's too tight. You'll never make it. Listen, mate, I have got that airport run down to a fine art and I want all the shortcuts. Uh, 
Don't go driving like a bat out of hell. All right, he's on his way. You know, some people even sell their eyes. You'd have to be nuts to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Max! Come on, Maxie. We're not far from the main road. What if he's wandered off? Oh, he's got more sense than that. Max! Mom. I think I can hear him. Mom. Max, where are you? Mom. Over here. Don't worry, mate. We'll get you out. Has someone locked him in? Th there's a latch on the inside. Must have got stuck. Max, can you reach the latch on the inside? What? Th the thing that fastens the door shut. Oh, I've had enough of this. Max, step away from the door. Well, hang on a minute, Kyla. Have you done it? Are you well out of the way? Yeah. Right, stay there until I say. Cover your eyes. I really wouldn't advise that you... you... Oh. <sighs> you little... You nearly gave me up, Don't failure. wander off like that. How many times have I told you? Sorry. What's going on? I don't know why we had to buy so many. They couldn't work out, not to sit on the backside reading. Yeah, and they like to relax afterwards. No! Whoa. Ted! Gary. Ugh. Sorry, it's just Nick, my ex, do my head in as usual. <sighs> oh, must be tough, working alongside him every day. Well, yeah, when you put it like that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I'd best get back to it. <laughs> no rest of the wicked and all that. Um, see you later. She was blushing, and you've gone all soft and smiley. Don't be ridiculous. Anyone think you fancy each other? What if I did fancy you? How would you feel about that? I'd say about time. Really? Go on, then. How long have you been seeing her? Who told you? No one. It's obvious you're into each other. She's the first woman I've been serious about since your mum died. I didn't want to tell you in case you got upset. I'm not going to lie. It will be weird seeing you with someone else. But... I, I know it's, it's too soon, isn't it? Does she make you happy? Then I'm pleased for you. <laughs> Don't want to bring you down, but I'm not sure Granny's going to take it so well. You know what she's like, Laura to herself. With a mouth to match. <sighs> Leanne, mm -hmm. I know you usually sign off the fresh food orders. Right. And I know that I'm supervised now, so I should do it, but I have not got a clue. Right. Well, as my supervisor, you could instruct me to do it. Oh, thank you. Or you could ask me to teach you how to do it. Thanks again. Listen, I'm sorry you got dragged into all this. No, I know he's only gave me the job to get back at you. Oh, stuff him. You look great on your CV. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing. Make sure he gives you a massive pay rise. <laughs> massive. <laughs> Yeah. So did you walk Ali to the bus stop? Yep. Ooh, you're not very pleased with yourself. Well, I told her about us. Well, how'd she take it? <laughs> she already guessed. Too smart for her own good, that one. What, she was okay with it? She was fine. Really? Because I know how hard it must be for her seeing you with somebody who's not a mum. She was genuinely pleased for us. Right, so we just gotta face your mum and your son now. <sighs> it's just one of those things. It's fine and dandy. No harm done. There's a fair bit of damage to that door. They were faulty. I needed to get him out. I can sort the door out. I'm very handy with a hammer and nails. Very good. Let's go. Mm. This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you. Oh. If you hadn't been stalking my mother-in-law, we wouldn't have been here in the first place. Kylie. You do know you're employing a convicted criminal. I'm aware of Mr Rodwell's past, yes. Oh, you don't mind a thief hanging around your customers? We believe in giving people a, a second chance. Well, so did my mother-in-law. He's handed her ever since. You know it wasn't like that. For God's sakes, come on. Hey, mister, I check your wallet's not gone walk about. This bloke's a thief. Missus, hang on to your handbag. My office. Now, please. You know what? We made a fair whack out of that limo. So why'd you stop? Ah, oh, it was fairly ancient. Cost a lot to maintain it. So, if you invested in something a little more modern? Money spinner, babe. Weddings, hen nights bring your brat to the prom. Am I boring you? No, it's just been ages, hasn't it? Speak of the devil. Babe, you've been over an hour. Did you get him there on time? No. Told you. Well, it doesn't matter, does it, because you knew you were pushing your luck. Won't pay me. 
tried to flip him find me for making him miss his flight. Cheeky. Unbelievable. My nerves are shot. Hey, don't you want to listen to Lloyd's brilliant business idea? Uh, getting back in the limo game. Oh, I suppose you want me dressed like Parker, do you? Yes, lady, whatever you say, lady. Uh, I happen to think you'd look well fit in a peak cap. Mm. Ah, yeah. Yeah. How's that cute little man of yours? Uh, that's no way to talk about another woman's fella. Let's talk about the baby in LA. <gasps> oh. Oh, he's lovely, yeah, dead cute. Now, is Gary coping full time dad, eh? Fine. A modern man, isn't it? Eh? Dad's at home looking after the kid and mum's in the pub. That's progress. Mm. That, babes, is equality. Ah, well, that and you shouldn't go burning your brow, eh? Promise. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> she packs a mean punch and just goes to the loo. You OK? No, not really. What's the matter? It's me and Gary. We're, we're just not getting on. Oh, well, we all go through patches like that. I'm sure you'll come through it. I'm not. Not anymore. Things really that bad? Or worse? Where have you been? Nowhere. It's ten past six. So? Tea time. Oh, sorry, I went for a walk. I wanted a know, but my mum said no. Never mind, Chuck. I'll get you one for your birthday. Right, wash your hands, come on. <laughs> when I got locked in, my mum said I kept the door down like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> All right, go on, wash your hands. <laughs> locked in where? I don't know. Vivid imagination, that one just makes it up as it goes along. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous. Oh, it's just shepherd's pie. Oh, nice, yummy. Mm, well, I made it with meat substitute instead of mince. Actually, it tastes like cardboard, but it's better for you. Can't wait. Just give me a minute, Kirk. You don't have to do this, you know. Yeah, I do. You look a bit... You're not going to throw up on me, are you? I hope not. You've got shed loads of history around here. A lot of good mates. I mean, I did have. People are fond of you. They'll forgive you. I hope so. Me, Beth and Craig still love you. Even if you did go a bit do, Lally. I'm glad you're home, sis. Yeah, me too. I think. <laughs> Between one and three and other. Can't believe you've got the nerve to show your face. Do you want to go? You should have stayed in Cyprus. Can't avoid it forever, can I? Um, a white wine and a pint, please. Yeah, of course. I feel like I'm in a western. And when a stranger comes to town, everyone stares at him, stops talking. It's a nice tan, huh? Oh, it is. It's already fading now. Hey, you want to get yourself one of them tanning towels, you know, just top it up a bit? Yeah, that's a good idea. You OK? Yeah. Fizz is still fuming. Well, it could be worse, couldn't it? How? Marcus and Todd could be out there snogging. Oh, I love these summer nights. Think how much hotter it's going to be in Barbados. You won't let it drop, will you? What do you think? I think you're a nightmare. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. I'll be honest, you did do a number on Rodwell. Well, don't mess about me. You should know that by now. Yeah, you have to admit it, though. I mean, you did go a bit over the top. I got the job done, as promised. You won't see his face round here again. So there's nothing to stop us from going on holiday. Right, OK, you've seen him off. What about Max? I mean, I'm not happy about taking him out of school. Travelling abroad is educational. <laughs> educational? What? Looking about on a beach, swimming. Well, you might be the new Rebecca Adlington. Building sandcastles. Famous architect? All right, go on then, name one. What? Famous architect. I know loads. Go on then. Tarquin Huntington Bladder. Peregrine Twistleton Hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of it. Oh, it'll be great to escape for a bit. Get away from Weatherfield, the school, Gale. I just think wedding limos are a bit old-fashioned now, aren't they? It's a classic. 
Mm, I think people want something a bit more blingy. You know, like that amazing carriage off Gypsy Weddings of Rose? You know, the uh, big pink bubble thing, the horse-drawn one. Sounds horrendous. Ah, oh, and they had the one with all the duck feathers and the fairy lights. That was amazing. When you say what people want, you mean what you want. <laughs> right, let's move off. Where to? Practice me airport run. Mate, you've done that run literally hundreds of times. I've got to do it quicker, Anna. Steve, this is madness. Oh, I should go and say something to her. Well, just keep your distance. You only wind her up. Um, I just wanted to say that I was sorry to hear about Tina. I know that she was a mate of yours. It's tragic. And also, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What I did to you was unforgivable. It must have been obvious that I wasn't being myself, Fizz. I was going through some sort of breakdown. Go away. I'm not interested. It's like I couldn't see myself doing those vile things to you, but I just... I couldn't stop. Every morning, I woke up with a horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. Terrified of what might happen, and that was all down to you. You're sick in the head. Pretending to be our friend and then lying to us. Trying to wreck our relationship. All right, that's enough. You terrorised us. She was ill. She was spiteful and twisted. Getting pleasure from seeing us in pain. There's no need to be vindictive. You're a nasty piece of work, Maria. You made our lives hell. So now we won't forgive you. Never. A petit pois. You and your fancy foreign ways. So, dinky. And you never guessed that they were packed full of such good things. I mean, vitamin this, vitamin that, beta carotene. I mean, that the one that turns you orange? Yeah, you'd probably have to eat like a ton of them, though. I'd best make a start then. You yeah, so lovely. Little green miracles. Mm. Mm. You'll get that. Your legs are younger than mine. You go, Kyla. Oh, you go, David. On his bone idle, the pair of you. <sighs> Where's Max gone for his tea? Oh, he's at his mates, um, Gerard's. I think Gerard de Pardon. We've got a right French theme going tonight, what haven't do we? What you want? Yeah, we're so continental. <laughs> um, you've got no right barging in here. Nice work. I lost my job because of you two. Right, do one or I'm going to phone the police. No, uh, let him speak. It's hard enough for an ex-con to find work. Now I've got no chance. Back on the scrap heap, not a hope in hell. What have they done to you? We were only looking out for you. Yeah, should be thanking us. Enough. Michael? They came to the garden centre and accused me of all sorts in front of my boss. That was that. Out on me ear. For goodness sake, what is wrong with you? I love that job. I'm sorry, Gail. None of this is your fault. No. Would you do such a thing? I mean, he had so little, and now well, he's got. That's like Carly said. I did it for you. He's shaking. We should go. No, I keep running away. We could sneak out the back in the I'm ginnel. Not sneaking anywhere, Kirk. <laughs> Thought that they might find a way to forgive me. I think we'll give them time, eh? Why should they? bring myself to forgive you, can I? Ray, did you mean what you said about me seeing Liam? Yeah, I did. Liam loves you. Don't need any more loss in his life. That's really big of you. Yeah, well, let's just take it easy to begin with, eh? Maybe you could take him to school in the morning or something. I'd love that, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Taking up smoking now, have you? It's just coming back in. Yeah, well, we should get off. Fancy an early night. I'll see you tomorrow then, yeah? Bright and early. I'm ashamed of the pair of you. Well, we might have gone a bit over the A top. bit? The man's lost his livelihood. Mum, we were trying to protect you. For the umpteenth time, I don't need protecting. Well, it's not that long ago you were taken in by Lewis. He fooled you and all. He fooled everyone. 
I think you should apologise. But he got what he deserved. That job meant the world to him. It gave him something to live for. I mean, what now? Mum, it's not your problem. Yeah, what's done is done. We just need to put it all behind us well, now. Well, unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. You've been so cruel to him, I feel we owe him. We owe him nothing, Mum. He robbed our house. Who are you to judge anyone? Anyway, your nasty little tricks have backfired this time. I'm going to do everything in my power to get Michael back on track. And your next visit to Coronation Street is this Wednesday at 7.30. Coming up in half an hour, we've coverage of tonight's big World Cup clash. It's a David and Goliath battle between Algeria and Germany at 8.30. Before that, though, it's You've Been Framed up next here on ITV. Thank you.